Hi friends, welcome to the session on shortcut techniques to find whether a system is linear or non-linear. My kind request is please learn the basics properly, then you learn shortcut technique. Without proper basics, the shortcut may become hazardous. Okay, so let us start. Let us take the system defined by the equation y of t is equal to log x of t. This is the equation, right? So whether the system equation, the system defined by this equation is linear or non-linear, surely it is non-linear system. Why? Because I told in a technique one, linearity means there should be some proportionality between input and output, right? So that is very very important. That only defines linearity. Here you see, suppose when I when my input is hundred. What I get is output is 2. Now I reduce my input by 100 times, that means 1. What should I get? As per linear system, the, my output should be reduced by 100 times. But this will not happen because log 1 is equal to 0. So there is no proportionality. Okay. Since proportionality fails, surely it is a non-linear system. Okay. That is the way. Let us see one more problem where we can use shortcut technique. Y of t is equal to the second one. 2 power x of t. Right? Again, we apply some input. x of t is equal to. When there is no input, what happens? Y of t becomes 1. Because 2 power 0, 1. Without input, output is produced. Right, y of t is output that is 1. Right, no system will act like this. Surely, this must be a non linear system. Right, so if there is no input for linear system, output should also be 0. That is very, very important. Input 0 means output is also 0 for linear system. Right, okay. Third one we see y of t is equal to cosine of x of t. Here you see output is a cosine function of input. So we know cosine will be like this. Surely there is no proportionality. It is a non-linear system. We can check this one in another method also. Same method when input is x0. What about output? Y of t becomes 1. Without input, it is producing output. Surely it is a nonlinear system. Okay. Next. Y of t is equal to cos 2t into x of t. Right? Whether it is a linear system or nonlinear system, don't conclude that it is a nonlinear system because Output is not a function of cosine of input. Here cosine is just a constant, right? Because when you substitute some value, t, t is equal to some value, it will become a number. So output is a cosine, a constant of input where k is casting. That is a separate story. It is a number, just a number. So here proportionality is maintained. That's why it is a linear system. Please know the difference between the problem number 3 and 4. Right? So, in this way, we can check whether a system is linear or non-linear. I hope you understand the problem very well. My kind request, please learn basics, then apply shortcut. Right? Thank you.